uh, weekly tips and fails. So actually, I had a different one, which is I'm going to talk about, I guess, next week. But my one this week is um, if you ever need to do something with the server as a front end developer, uh, schedule your day around that, because uh, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. So like long story short, um, I put Karina, that's my daughter, at four for a nap at around one o'clock. And I know that I have like two hours, so I had a list of things that I need to do. And then the moment I put her to sleep, I'm like, okay, run, rush over to 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 well, office, which is my bedroom here, and start working. And um, and and but then I right before I start doing stuff, I remember that I have a server basically that serves APIs to all my courses. I mean, pretty basic, you know, just you know, make get requests, and but it helps a lot of situations where, you know, I don't need to depend on some third party APIs. I can simply set up my API and then students can practice with React, with Gatsby, with whatever vanilla JS how to make, make a fetch request. Now, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is that I need to make a little small HTML tweak. And I have a pretty decent setup where essentially I just need to make the changes locally. I have the project lo running locally, check it whether everything works, push it up to the GitHub, and then from DigitalOcean, I just grab it there uh, with. Like, I just need to literally run one command, git pull and npm install. Well, sure enough, I do that, <laughs> something I've done like quite a many times. And I actually run out of the uh, space, run out of the whatever memory on, on, on the droplet. So my entire droplet goes down. Then I'm like, oh, okay, I, I'll upgrade the, the, the you know, size of the droplet. But once I do that, then even more stuff goes down. So... Long story short, two and a half hours in when my daughter is already up, so I'm like putting TV for her on, I barely, barely squeeze it out, you know, and that's one of those things where, I mean, if one of my projects goes down, even John Smilga, I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world, but like the server that's serving APIs, it kind of is because, you know, people are practicing like using that server. So, I mean, there was a little bit of like Russian swear words going, going on for nice. those two hours here. So yeah, so that that's kind of my simple tip. What about you? Yeah, I, I mean, I always have failures, but there's so many I can't remember all of it. But one thing that I started to realize is a lot of people, you know, they ask the question, when should I learn data structures? When should I learn, you know, uh, testing? And what I would say, make sure you learn the basics first, like everything we talked about. And I've noticed like in my experience kind of progressing through web development, it'll organically come up. Like, you know, last last live stream we talked about how, you know, I learned, you know, talked about using hash tables or, you know, a basic object in JavaScript to look things up because it's faster uh, versus using an array. And that's something I spent a lot more time reading about because there was a situation that came up. And now at work, we're working on an application that's getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. Now, like, you know, this question of unit, unit testing comes up. It's like, now you should probably write tests, not because, you know, we have to, but just because it will make my job much easier and stuff like that. And so I realized is that, you know, don't try to solve a problem that you don't have yet. You know, like, let's say like, oh, I need to learn data structures right away. I need to learn testing right away because coding is so hard to learn. Like when you start that adding those additional things is just going to depress you or make you quit. So learn the basics, be able to build projects. And as you continue to build projects that require, you know, more complex solutions, you will eventually get to, you know, I need to know more data structures that I need to solve a particular problem in this project, or I need to do testing, but at least you'll know why, rather than just doing it for the sake of doing it. So that's like my pro tip today, like, don't worry, don't stress too much, do the basics, be able to build a project yourself, and over time, you're going to learn all those things. You know, learning to code is a huge ocean and you can't do it like, you know, swim it all in one step. You got to take time, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why Paul is here. I 100% No, I mean, this is an awesome point. hundred <coughs> percent agree. Where for me, it's even the case where eventually I do want to dive into probably more into, into algorithms and, and definitely testing, but it's it's like you say it's you know you have so much work already before that that you know just forcing it just because seems like not probably the best approach now i know that there's another argument where they say well yeah but in company they ask for it 
okay that that you know as a separate topic probably or whatever but in general this this kind of you know something that we already covered before also where you know essentially you just you just keep moving and instead of looking for things whatever out there you just you know the 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 immediate things that you need to do instead that, that that's what you're focusing no like awesome yeah thank thank you for sharing that. yeah and just to add to that because you mentioned it in terms of like testing like companies may ask for it but for a lot of juniors you know they won't expect you to be able to hit the ground running from the start and they'll expect you to be like oh we do testing here so when you get hired here you're going to start learning testing you know what i mean it's not like oh you need to be a master at it because like a bunch of jobs that i worked at um you know they do do it or we had somebody else that did it like i didn't have to do it um and now where i work it's like oh you should probably start doing some testing just because things are getting too big so it's like a very you know slow transition into it as a junior maybe if you're like a senior level or like a high mid-level where it's the must you know 